जयपुर गया कोटा कृपया ध्यान आपको अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन Sixteen years ago, on this day, the 18th of April, the IPL was born. My column hit that century, and I don't think cricket was the same ever again. As a teenager, I was watching, and if I was told 16 years later I'll be sitting with my childhood heroes discussing the game, I just rubbish it and laugh it off. But today I'm here pinching myself at Crick Buzz Live uh, because I'm sitting with my favorite wicket wicket keeper bat and the man who just makes this game so poetic, Mr. Harsha Bogle. Please oh. welcome. <laughs> I don't know, wicket keeper. Both, both. It was Thank the wicket keeper bat and then the Gulzar Sahib of cricket, uh, Harsha Bogle. Yes, it indeed. feels so. So good to be sitting with you, Gilly. Doing this, uh, you have scarred a lot of us, a lot of <laughs> Indians, the '90s kids. You've really uh, scarred us with what you did to us. Uh, but I think uh, you were just the nicest Australian there, and we all loved you very, very much. So it feels lovely to be sitting here with you. Thank you very well much. Well done, Sayami. I can yeah. tell you how difficult it has been for her to do this because she was sitting there <laughs> the day before you were to turn up, right? Right. And we were doing this big announcement. You know what, Adam Gilchrist is going to be joining <laughs> us. I have never seen an anchor uh, as short of words as she was because she was so gushy and she was so excited. And I was the color of my suit. There. Yes. There. <laughs> oh well, it's wonderful to be here and 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 finally working with you too. It's been a, a great first four or five days that I've enjoyed here at mm -hmm. Quick Buzz, but to uh, to now be working along with you and and the way you intro that 16th birthday was spot on. I mean, it it sort of it was seismic, it's a, wasn't it? It's a long time since it, it any changed, of us have been 16. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> but but the the images. Who would have thought? That yes. So soon after such a controversial. Um, Unfortunate incidences through the 2008 summer in Australia mm. between India and Australia, of which I was there and in amongst it, um, to see a few months later Ricky Ponting and Sarah running and embracing yes. on the field yeah. in the same yeah. team. Yeah. Who would have thought? And and that's what it did, and uh, it, it changed the landscape. It just felt like uh, for for the real oldies, not not you, <laughs> uh, a World Series cricket moment, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, Harsha, like. It changed. It was going to change the landscape, and it, it has proven too. It changed everything, especially about Australia India cricket. Suddenly, I'm going to Australia, and everyone is on the field, very friendly, very <laughs> chatty. Even when Tim Payne is sitting and 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 chattering away, it's about Tim Payne talking to Aaron Finch. Which franchise are you going to play for <laughs> this year? And they're chatting yeah. with each other. Aussies, yeah. <laughs> uh, this time, when we go back, I want to see if I can see the old Aussie back. No, but it was a, this this IPL. It was really special because uh, we saw Ponting uh, Ganguly was both throwing down to him, and he was batting. So it was like my childhood came back to life yeah. because you know it was something we've seen growing up. Like I said, this feels like a dream. I need to pinch myself. Uh, <laughs> someone who's uh, not really had the dream run this season is both MI and Punjab. So we have to talk about them. Punjab yeah. have won the toss. They have decided to bowl first. Surprisingly, Hardik says that he would have liked to bat first. So clearly, someone has read that pitch wrong. I don't know if you know too much on today's pitch, but uh, someone read it wrong. Or it's what you said that was. Hmm. Saying, yeah, I would have batted first. You yeah, know, it's. Right. But I don't think it's a bad thing for Mumbai to bat first and put up a big score. Yeah. Yes. So it may not be a bad thing for Mumbai to bat first. You know, Gilly, there's been so much discussed about Hardik. Yeah. And I think I'd like to straight go to uh, what Pollard had to say about him because there's just been so much discussion. The fans on social media have said so much. Unfortunately, when things don't go right for you, nothing really goes right for you. But this is what Pollard says uh, about Hardik backing his skipper. He said, "I'm sick and fed up of looking uh, to pinpoint individuals. Cricket is a." Team game at the end of the day. This is an individual that is going to represent the country in less than six weeks' time, and uh, all are going to cheer for him and uh, want him to do well. So high time we try to encourage and stop nitpicking and see if we can get the best uh, out of one of the great all-rounders India has produced. You know, I was there at the game the other day when uh, Chennai was playing, and 
he is going to be playing for India, like Pollard said, in six weeks. And the booing and just the amount of hate he's getting. Harsha, do you think it probably is the transition or is it gone past that because he's not really performing with the bat and the ball like we know how they can perform? It's just that India's, at the moment, going through a love affair with Rohit Sharma. All Indian cricket fans are going through a love affair with Rohit Sharma because he's just this, he's just this cool guy. And, and he's taken to captaincy well, he's enjoying himself. India played better cricket at the uh, at the World Cup than I've ever seen them play in 50 overs cricket at at yes. at a World Cup. So everyone's in love with Rohit, and the public perception is that Rohit has been wronged, and so and so Hardik. But the deeper question is: Are fans when they watch the IPL, are fans thinking of India, or are they thinking of the franchise? Correct. And I think it is a sign of the growth of the franchise that more and more people are associating with the franchise. Mm. The moment the IPL ends on 27th, all these people will, be, will start thinking India. But it's a sign that this tournament has matured, that people are now thinking franchise while the IPL is on. But Gilly, do you also think that it, you know, like he said, it is a love affair with Rohit. But is it also Hardik, the player not really performing, Hardik, the captain the other day taking on, he went, walked straight into the fire because he bowled uh, the 20th over. So he's being brave. But you think these decisions are not paying off for him? Well, they, they certainly haven't paid off. But I commend his courage in yeah. the example that you use uh, the other evening, but both with bat and ball. Uh, I think, Harsha, you think um, you said that when he went into bat, it, it felt like at the time maybe more of a Tim David moment. Yes. Might have been better prepared and in, in a better frame of mind to go in and try and close that game out against uh, Chennai. Uh, you also said, and I think it's, it's sage words, uh, a good captain is two players. Yes. Well, Hardik at the moment is trying to be three players. You know, Short. bat, ball and captain. And, you know, if, and if you can pull all that off, you've got four players almost there. So that's the importance of this guy. He's, he's so skillful and so talented. Um, as for the booing, I, th I think I made the point here a few nights ago that I, I think, again, the maturity of this competition and the growth of the, the very tribal fan base, it's become a bit like European football where if – Trades are being done here and there. And if the fans who are stakeholders in this competition are left in the lurch and not given information as to why things are happening, if they don't even know anything about it, it's a high-risk ploy because if it works, great. But if it doesn't and it, and it hasn't started well, um, the fans can turn and go, well, hang on, we were left out of the loop here. What's happened? So uh, unfortunately for he and the team, they haven't got the results and it's compounded itself, hasn't it? That first match, there was some boos, okay, right, right. But then it then snowballs because yeah, yeah. they lose a couple and they're such high profile, it snowballs. And, and the expectation is success from this franchise. So that's the challenge. Uh, the Pollard comments, no, I like that. I like that. And they're going to, well, you know, I know that they're pretty tight, those guys, but yeah. any coach, anyone in that franchise couldn't say anything but that. Mm -hmm. and, and that's fine. You've got to go out there and, and, and rally the troops and, and, and try to rally for your player. So we'll see, we'll see how it affects him. But just watching, just watching a, a bit of the uh, footage of him out on the ground already tonight, he just seems a fraction less trying to be matey with everyone mm. and, and vivacious and buoyant. Because and, <laughs> I know from personal experience, when you're down and out, you try to put on this even braver face and try to don't let anyone under that. The late Pete, Peter Roebuck wrote a great line about cricketers having to wear a cape of bravado. Uh -huh. And those that wear it with most con greatest conviction and conceal what's underneath are the ones that can do really well. So the mind games. And I remember, you, you know, you used to go out there and try to be friendly and I look confident, but inside you're drowning. So mm. who knows if that's Hardik? I don't know him as a person, but I just saw he looked a bit more calm tonight. You know, Harsha, you spend time with him psychologically, how much do you think this is playing on him? Because he's a tough character. He's seen a lot of love, seen a lot of hate. But is he somebody who's really getting affected by what's happening? He would not be human if he wasn't affected. Hmm. And you can tell people don't go to social media. Everyone does. But you can hear it at the ground. And you've got to be really tough to be able to put that away. It's very easy to say put that away. It's very, very tough to do. Hmm. So it, it, he'd be human if he wasn't getting affected by that. But just ask yourself, 20th over, Hardik has the option of bowling one. Would you commend him for bowling it or for not bowling it? Mm. 
if he didn't bowl it you'd say ah oh, he's shying yeah. away now so he did what he thought was the right thing it didn't it didn't work out and and that happens i think he will always put himself in the firing line because he's the kind of person who would like to emerge as the hero I, th- I think he loves being the hero. He's, he's, he's a modern guy. He loves, he loves a flashy lifestyle. You know, when things are good, everyone comments that. Yes. When things are not going your way, people start criticizing you for wearing diamonds. Hmm. People criticize you for going to parties. It's, it's the way it is. He's, he's, the, he's the modern young kid. Uh, I mean, he's, he's, he's a parent now, but he's, yes. he's, still, he's still the modern young kid. Hmm. So he will always put himself in the situation where he can emerge a hero. Hmm. And that's not something you criticize too much. You know, it's, it's yes. not bad that there's a player who wants to do that if you're a captain and your player wants to be in the firing line you like such players mm. so that that that's what it is i I'm, i'm fairly certain that the tide will turn before this ipl is done and so i just finish on yeah. on that about those pollard comments so so much importance on pollard boucher the the support network to get sit down with mm. hardik the captain and go okay let's let's put all the white noise aside let's analyze the strategy that we had in that game. Did we get that right? Mm. Should we have bowled the spinner to mm. do that? Should we have done this? Should we, and, and learn whatever they can and help give him as much information and um, experience to go out and improve and, and his leadership and his decision-making and their overall tactics. And, and it's not just, I mean, hopefully Rowett is interested mm-hmm. in contributing key, to that. It? Hopefully other senior players are That's interested key, isn't it? in <laughs> giving a little yeah. bit of information to help just right the wrongs of of the tournament so far there's only one person here at the moment who's got a pathway to rohit's here <laughs> <laughs> but you know we know what uh, nehra has done with uh, hardik in gt so the support staff can uh, kind of come together and help hardik who's a very entertaining person we can't take that away he's very entertaining on and off the field uh, someone who's been very entertaining is the punjab team because this season they've played six games all their games they've gotten into that last over so it's almost like so close yet so far because some of them they've pulled off some highs some of them which they should have won they haven't won but harsha what do you think is going wrong because the uncapped players are doing well and the ones who should be doing well are not really performing like they should be just imagine that whole thing without those two uncapped players yeah, yeah. and imagine where they would be and the key players you, you when you when we looked at that team before the IPL started you said best or key player livingston key player we didn't as much say karan key player if you remember we said best or key player livingston key player rabada key player yeah karan is there even though karan is on this on this fancy buy yourself house wherever you want kind of budget but those were the three key players we said suddenly best was not fired at all livingston's had that injury but he, he hasn't had an mm-hmm. IP, IPL season that's worthy of his ability yet so it's rabar at the bottom so the big overseas players are not playing well sikandar raza came in he didn't he didn't have a great season as well so they've actually had a f- not a great season it's the two young kids who mm-hmm. who've shown up, who've showed up that team mm-hmm. uh well uh, gilly i'd like to see punjabs playing 11 because something that you called in the green room i think has happened not for we'll... the first time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you called and uh, uh, they've heard you we know you've worn these colors so they're listening to you even when you're in the green room <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's uh yeah so riley rousseau comes in so whether well if that's to be believed if that's their team list on their sheet he'll come in and just a straight yeah. uh, swap to open up which uh, he's batted opener he's batted at 3 or top order in previous t20 tournaments um yeah i i think it's probably the right call i think uh johnny besto is such a confidence or lack of confidence player. He can yes. and almost we've seen it with Glenn Maxwell, mm-hmm. haven't we? Uh, and and Maxie himself coming out saying he went to management and said, yes. "Look, I'm not in the right space here to give my the best of myself to the team, so I might need to take a breather." I'm not saying that that's what Bairstow's mm-hmm. done, but he's just he can get on a roll and and we've seen it in the IPL that you know, uh he did it for Hyderabad. we see it when he plays for england but mm-hmm. then he can go through little phases so he's high risk high reward um but rather so he can he can sure. be uh, everything or nothing too he knows how to get a t2000 and can follow up with a few first balls but um the one point to that lineup again and i might just try and get that up again that that starting 11 they mm-hmm. they're bowling i know i was bowling. about to tell you that so, yeah. that's their bowling side so uh, just a yeah well the any point you'd like to make i was going to no. make the point i think sam curran 
He's been batting at four, I think. I yes. think that's too high for him. I, I think I don't look at a batting lineup with Sam Curran at four and go, that tells me, hang on, they're missing some impact or strike power somewhere in their balance. But he's at three tonight, so maybe that might change and he might yeah. prove me wrong. But, but, yeah, how does that look from a bowling point of view? There's, there's, there's uh, so a batter Bravada, come in. Harshal, Harpreet Brar and Sam Curran with yeah. Livingston as your sixth. Yep. This is the this is the interesting one. This is their bowling side, but other than Harpreet Bhatia, mm -hmm. all all the impact players are all bowlers. The bowlers, yes. yeah. yeah. Shivam Singh. So it almost feels like this is yeah. a wrong sheet they've handed over. We've we seen this so many times. We've been times, saying that a lot lately. You know. <laughs> what yeah. do you know about Shivam Singh? Uh huh. So, so I mm -hmm. I'm a little confused by by that side. I don't know, maybe they just think it's a 150, 160, 160 kind we'll of We'll just have a look at the so, impact subs again yeah. uh, because uh, we've been confirmed that this is the right side given. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know who comes in as a bat. Harpreet Bhatia as a batter? Yes. So maybe he'll come in as, as the impact sub. I don't see a bowler there who's going to bowl three overs, go away and out, get yeah. another bowler in. Yeah, I was wondering that. Chaha yeah. wouldn't come in. Not, even last game they didn't play Rahul Chahar. Yeah. I think they've sort of given up on Rahul Chahar. Yep. There's a bit of green around. Is there a bowler in this team who's going to bowl? You need Rabada, you need Arshdeep, you need Harshal to bowl at the All back at end. the death, yeah. Yep. Harpreet Brar. Sam Curran bowls decently at the death. That's an option. So no bowlers yep. going away. And Livingston will... Yeah, Livingston will bowl a bit. He got, he got a couple of wickets in the last yeah. game. Maybe they're trying something new. We never know. They're trying to move things around. In this lineup again, Ashutosh Sharma, who I'd like to chat about, is because we've been seeing him coming as an impact sub, doing very well for the team, one of those uncapped players. We've seen uh, an international being dropped and an uncapped player coming in. Uh, you know, we've, we were discussing this in the green room, mm -hmm. Gilly. What do you think on these impact player rules? Because it's, uh, for someone like an Ashutosh Sharma, who's gone through a lot of downs, he used to play for Madhya Pradesh, he was dropped uh, and then he went into a little depression. He then went to the railways, now has come and played uh, for uh, the uh, Punjab side. But just look at these numbers, the, the strike rate at which he's kind of hitting the ball. Yeah. The impact rule has really worked for him. It certainly has. They're very impressive numbers. And he has made a genuine impact. That's what it's all about, the very uh, terminology that's used for it. Uh, and great opportunity for him to be in the starting lineup and, and cement a mm -hmm. spot there. So it's been a terrific uh, role for him and an opportunity for him. Discussion everywhere now around <laughs> about the impact <laughs> player, isn't there? It's yeah. come up in the last day or two. And um, Thanks yeah. to whom? Because Rohit Thanks is to the... Whom? Well, the oh, Indian, really? what Indian did captain you do? wasn't a fan. <laughs> you don't have to mention the podcast. You can if you want. But um, no, I'm very fortunate to have a chat with Rohit yesterday mm -hmm. about it. That, uh, but I think a lot of people, there's been a lot of commentary. In the, I've noticed in the last two or three days, I think people have started to form, formulate an opinion. Uh, Joy made a good point last night. He said, it's probably creating interest more because teams are using it in a, mm. a much a smarter fashion this year. They've got a bit of an understanding of how to make more of an impact and balance up your options. Uh, I personally, I was, I love the fact that we're sitting here speculating on what they'll do and, yes. and who'll come in and, uh -huh. and that makes it interesting for a spectator. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think it's helping the game. I think there's a whole lot of reasons and I know, Harsha, you've got a really interesting one about the entertainment versus yeah. actual cricket. What I don't like is why T20, in my opinion, has been successful as, a, as opposed to a lot of other abbreviated formats, six aside. In Australia, we had Super 8s, which was mm -hmm. eight aside. You really felt like you were compromising the fundamentals of the game and the basic constitution of the game by taking players off. And T20 is a legitimate format of the game because it maintained 11 versus 11. It maintained, which then brings selection, discussion and choices uh, and, and consequences if you get that wrong. Um, it maintained the same size field, the same amount of balls in and over, mm. not making it 10 if you hit it over the fence <laughs> rather than six. So it was a pure version of the game, just squashed down. And that's been pretty entertaining, I reckon, anyway. So that's what I don't like about it. I like 11 versus 11 mm -hmm. and work it out. Old-fashioned values of, of team and 
finding a way to fight through. So that's what I don't like about it, among other things, the whole all-rounder situation. But that point about entertainment is an interesting one. Yeah, you know, this I, is exactly yeah. what Rohit said. So let's just have a look at what yeah. Rohit had to say because uh, we know that the whole conversation started with what Rohit said. I generally feel that it's going to uh, hold back uh, development of all-rounders because eventually cricket is played by 11 players, not 12 players. I'm not a big fan of the impact player. You're taking out so much from the game uh, just to make it a little entertainment for the people around. Guys like Washington Sundar, Shivam Dubey are not getting to bowl, uh, which for us, uh, the Indian team, is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what you were talking about, Harsha. Yeah. Sorry, you missed something at yeah. the bottom there. I think. Oh, I missed yeah. where he spoke about it from, didn't <laughs> yeah, put I? That again, okay, put, put that, that again, man. Put that again. It's, sorry, sorry. it's the plug-in for a podcast we all love listening to and what Michael and you chat about uh, and has created a lot of headlines, Adam. The least to say, it creates a lot of headlines. You know, <laughs> they tend to be relaxed, yeah. so they just talk openly. <laughs> One of the biggest advantages of being Adam Gilchrist is you call Rohit and say, uh, Rohit, tomorrow, 2.30, keep yourself free. Yes, boss. <laughs> the other saying, Rohit, would you mind coming on my, oh, okay, next year. Adam calls him up. Adam, sorry, Gilly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, am I in trouble? <laughs> Gilly calls him up and says, Rohit, tomorrow, 2.30. Remember I was your captain when mm -hmm. you were a kid? 2.30. <laughs> so he, come, <laughs> he comes on. But um, no, personally, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the impact player because what I love about all sport is making up for each other. Mm. Suddenly you're a bowler shot, someone chips in with two overs somewhere, you're a batter shot, someone goes in and plays another innings. But the sport is about making the best of the resources that you pick, the best resources that you have. There's two things that the, uh, we need to look at. Is the IPL a pathway to India? True. If the IPL is a pathway to playing T20 cricket for India, the impact sub is not working. It's running counter to what India needs. Mm. If the IPL is being seen as an as a program by itself, a part entertainment, part cricket program by itself for the uh, for the janta who loves seeing the big hits and whatever, the impact sub is working like a dream. Mm. So you've got to ask yourself, what is the reason behind the impact sub? So is the IPL a standalone tournament where the masters are turning up and enjoying seeing big hits, enjoying seeing an extra bowler, so you, you're you never playing with bowler shot, you're never playing a batter shot, it's working. Is it going to help India at the T20 World Cup? No, it's going to come in the way of India playing the T20 World Cup, uh, performing at T20 World Cup. You know, Gilly, as an open bat, if you had this impact uh, sub when you were playing, would it have played on your mind saying, okay, I'll go even more aggressive. I don't know how much more aggressive you could <laughs> have gone. because it I'm, would I'm have driving been... at 200 kilometers yeah. an hour. Can so I, I go 210? <laughs> <laughs> but would it have played on your mind saying, all right, I don't have seven, I have eight batters coming in and change the way you played? Uh, it's hard to know, speculating. But, uh, well, it, evidence is it probably would have because... Everyone is seems now it's put the hammer down and mm. you go, you don't stop. So I would suspect, yes, but I, I never really thought about that to my approach. If even mm. you know, if we were playing seven batters, you know, and trying to get some extra overs out of that batting line, I didn't go out there with a changed attitude. No, but it seems to be changing it. Up, you know, they go a bit harder than we did anyway yeah. as the game evolves. So yeah. the, the, very quickly, and we, we don't want to get bogged on this, but don't want too much negativity around the sentiment of trying these mm -hmm. things. All credit that, that, that the IPL tried it or the BCCI and we tried it in the Big Bash in, uh, in Australia, uh, having a, a super sub, we called it. Yes. This one on face value is much more interesting and entertaining, this style. I think in the BBL you had to just name one person and you either had a bowler or a batter and you sort of rolled the dice a bit. And um, But after two years, everyone voted take it away. There was another bonus point, I think, in there that two years, no, do away with that. But we did keep the, the power surge, so reducing the power play to four overs and having two overs later on. That's really <laughs> intriguing and interesting. And I'm not saying that the Big Bash gets everything right and far from it, but that might be something that is worth looking at if the IPL feel like they need to just keep creating and, and test that out for a while because that that can resurrect a game like last night when um, yes. GT were in such trouble. That power surge can suddenly revamp an innings and mm. just make it an interesting contest. So yeah, something so to think about. And Rashid was batting yesterday. Take the yeah, well, if he, he might have played a bit differently if he knew he could get to a power surge and then, well, Rash, he'd think yeah, he's going to get 50 off the two overs, <laughs> Rash, and probably yeah. get close. So yeah. I, I did a couple of games in the in the Big Bash this year 
and there was a situation with teams doing well mm -hmm. and they said, right, we've got enough batting now, let's take the surge. Suddenly you lost two wickets in the surge because now people are going Go for, for big shots yeah. and it turned the game. So sometimes so it, it's a very, very interesting uh, mm -hmm. uh, concept. Well, uh, you know, Rohit has made headlines and given us lots to discuss. I will still ask you all questions when we go into the green room and I'll tell you all on Twitter because uh, from Rohit uh, making headlines, I want to talk about Rohit making headlines as the batter. Since uh, the World Cup, he's just been playing a different brand of cricket. Uh, I, again, when I was watching him the other day, he just has so much time when he plays. It's like he's waiting, he's waiting to go for it. And he's looked beautiful, uh, the strike rate even to spin to uh, pace has been, we, the numbers do the talking, 173 and 152. So he's just playing really attacking cricket from the World yeah. Cup, Hasha. And do you, this is the form we want Rohit to go into the World Cup. I think he's in a very good space in life. Mm. He's, he's, I think he's very happy. He's, he's relaxed. He realizes he's done something special in life. So now he can go and adapt and play the way he is without any stress. That is what came through when I was watching him at the ODI World Cup and definitely here because he's had four or five average IPLs, yes. let's be fair. But the way he's coming and batting, he's, he just seems so much more relaxed. He's not too, too worried about failure. And as a result, he's, he's taken his game to another level, honestly, in this form. I thought he was he's not doing his extraordinary talent, the kind of justice he should have in this form. But the moment you take away that fear, mm -hmm. then he's gone to another level. And I mean, you mentioned time. I wouldn't be surprised if he was born. You know, it's an old joke. I'm just rewording. When his, uh, the nurse said, ma'am, here's, here's your son. He's got more time than anybody else. You've got to be careful with players like Rohit. Mark Wall was a bit the same, that they're so naturally talented and yeah. gifted mm. and they can often be a bit laconic in mm. things and, and you think they're not quite extracting enough out of them so they're not, you know, 100% committed or trying hard enough. And um, But they are, it's just their style. But... Mm. Uh, but Rohit, you're right, he hadn't hit these lofty heights for a number of IPLs. And I don't, I'm not saying this again just to talk about the podcast, but in the interview, I, I lightheartedly said to him, gee, there's not much uh, happening off the field and around the <laughs> team, is there, for you? It's pretty quiet. Yeah, and no. he, I think he took it, he, well, either he just shied away from mm -hmm. the, the noise that's around. But he just said, yeah, he said, I am loving it. We've had four games at home in Mumbai and I've just stayed at home. It's been beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then I come in when we've got to have a team meeting and, and everything about his answer was exactly that, just so relaxed. And th that's probably the irony of this whole losing the captaincy. Mm -hmm. And again, I've got no idea on the detail, but here he is just in this little, on this little sort of cloud, just bouncing along at his own <laughs> pace. And those numbers that we just showed uh, uh, articulate that's exactly where he's at. I think he's going to be a key player for India mm -hmm. oh, yeah. at, the, at the T20 World Cup. The only thing there is, I mean, that's going to be a separate discussion, is you, come what may, you're playing seven batters. Yes. Are they going to be free to bat like that? Is Virat going to play the same way differently? There, there's lots of issues. But interesting you said that about, uh, about Rohit. I was having a little chat with Virat after the presentation one day. He's in a chatty mood and he said... Life changes when you've got a second child. Mm. He said, my prize, you can see everything it with changes. Wait till you get four. <laughs> <laughs> no. It goes back to the chaotic mind. No, yeah, that I'm is a Gilchrist special. <laughs> 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 Two was easy, absolutely. <laughs> that was cruise mode. <laughs> but Gilly, I just want to ask you, back in the Deccan Chargers day, you've seen him play as a youngster. Yep. Did you Have you seen him evolve from what he was during the Deccan Chargers day? Was he? Did he always have this kind of time or has he evolved as a batter? Oh, he's always had beautiful timing mm -hmm. and time. Yes. Uh, he's a class act from the moment I first saw him in a one-day international at the SCG. He scored a beautiful 50 mm. uh, for India against us in what was my last series. 2008? 2008, just TV before series. the IPU. You know, we've, we've played that out about a thousand times on Indian television. Well, I, bet, I think Sachin <laughs> might have got 102, actually, at the other end. And but, India uh, might have won for the first time in Australia. They beat us, they beat us clean this up. I don't know why I brought it up, actually. But, um, <laughs> no, it's Rowett. It was the beautiful yeah, poetry yeah. of Rowett. Um, he was just a, such a likeable character at that young age. Mm -hmm. um, I invested time in him thinking that if there was one area that he might need to sharpen up, that was his, his um, outside of the batting, his contribution in field, mm -hmm. fitness, just not that he was way off, but just improve that 10% more and you'd be amazed that the batting will go to another level and, you know, when the pathway's there, it's yours to walk on, just do it in fine style. So, uh, but he always had this unbelievable respect 
that he didn't garner from his uh -huh. peers, but it was just there. And that's the great thing. He didn't thing. go seeking it. That's what he's saying. He yeah. Never went seeking it. Didn't try to force his way. The moment you go looking to get respect is probably the, the wrong attitude to have. So he seems to have had that and carried that seamlessly through in leading Mumbai for 10 years, five titles, and now, you know, fostering young players, putting the arm around. He's just that type of character. He's such a likeable character. Well, he had a mentor and someone who's very likable himself. Uh, I wish we had a mentor to answer the joy factor questions <laughs> because I don't know. I think that's what I need. It's a mentor to answer his questions. Let's uh, have a look at uh, Mr. Bhattacharya's question. What re record do Edwards, Ashish Nehra and Chahel jointly hold in the history of the tournament? That tournament. He hasn't told us which tournament. He hasn't tournament. told us which tournament. He hasn't tournament. told us. Right. Mm. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's... This IPO. Okay, IPL in this tournament, Fidel Edwards. Fidel Edwards. He was he was one of them. 2008. When we won the title, yeah. 2009. Maybe. Rockets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, All right, okay. we'll, do, we'll do this guessing game for the green group. Let's get to the more important guessing game because uh, at least oh, we get geez. the answers right here. Uh, let's have a look at, I think, Harusha. Let's let Gilly go first. Yes, He's because I know that I, I saw a photograph put out sitting in that chair. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in hot form after yes. my, finally getting off the uh, mark last time. Uh, I'm going to go Mumbai 2-14. That's always my score, 2-14. Oh, is it? I'd won it twice. Uh, no, no, you might okay. win it again. I'm going sort of lower, 7.58 is what they've gone, 7.8, whatever they've gone. So let's say 8, 160, add a little bit. I'll go a little under today. No, 185. That's really under. Yeah. 185. Now my confidence has, uh, is <laughs> getting a... You've got a whole range. You're going in between. Okay, between 214, 185, I will be in between and go with 204. Yeah. I, I wanted to be higher, but I'll go with 204. Uh, we'll <laughs> wait and watch. Uh, I think Livingston's come out to bowl, yes. uh, which is going to be an uh, interesting matchup. So we're going to quickly run and go and watch what's happening. Yeah. We will give you all the updates at the 10 over point. Thank you so much, Harsha. Thank you, Gilly. Gotcha. And we will see you all at the 10 over point at the Crickbus Combox. <laughs> दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन